is fuzzy. All right, today we're going to do a review on the Fentech Next T1 Max. Now, the sponsor sent me this in return for a review, and we'll check it out. Now, uh, their packaging is amazing, I'll tell you what. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the unboxing. I'll get everything out and uh, and go from there. But, yeah, they, they package it really, really nice. Uh, and so we're going to get it all out, and it comes with the instructions, and we'll go from there. Okay, so in the box, um, you've got all kinds of different components, right? Um, you, obviously, you got your instructions again. You've got a tweezers. Um, you've got the desoldering pump. You've got, uh, I believe, 10 extra ends uh, for the pump itself. Uh, there's sponges here. You've got five gray and five yellow. You got a nice bag. You can put all your components in and usb charger which is c usb okay um and that is actually uh it's about a 20 inches long i don't it's not quite two feet i measured it so um it's uh you've got a little bit of room you can play with you've got a alloy aluminum <clears throat> base here uh this little cup comes out and you can change that out. I'm not going to dump that upside down, but that cup comes out. Okay, you got your stand, and this actually it comes apart, and you can uh, disassemble it that way. Okay, and it does turn 360 degrees, so you can have it at any angle you want. Now, uh, this is the soldering iron itself, and you've got three set or six settings on this particular. Um, iron okay so uh we're gonna get into that in a second all right tips are inside okay uh this comes right out of the box and it tells you tips are inside and it says press all right so you press that and there's your tips right there okay we're gonna get into those in a second all right so we're gonna do a couple of things and uh go from there so let's start with the soldering iron now uh this has a sleep mode in it okay uh, so there's if you turn it on and there's and there's no vibration in 15 seconds it goes to sleep it doesn't turn off it just goes to sleep after 15 minutes with no vibration it'll actually turn off and conserve the battery now to turn this on you just press that for three seconds and off she goes and you've also got a light on the end of okay okay so let's try that again And there's your light okay all right so um the tips go in the end we'll get into that in a second again but uh you can adjust this to whatever temperature you want um usually about 570 is a good soldering uh but you can get you can go hotter you can do whatever you want you go go lower 390 right up to 840 fahrenheit okay um really it's 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 got some weight to it it's uh it's got a, a 3.7 volt battery in it, a lithium battery. So uh, she's got some charge, about an hour and a half ish of, of soldering, and go from there. Okay. So uh, these tips. Now this end comes off. Okay. So there, you take this off. You take a tip, and we'll get into the tips in a second. I'm just showing you this here. So you take a tip. You throw this in there. Now you got to make sure that this these tips are in really 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 good okay or else it will not work okay you slide it in make sure it goes all the way in and then turn this back on oh put that on the wrong way okay put that on the right way and turn that back in and off she goes just make sure it doesn't pull out hold that for three and a half seconds now when that turns green that means that that tip is up to temperature. Now you see the smoke coming off that? I think you can, maybe you can't. Oh yeah, you can see it up, the smoke coming up in there. So there you go. It's at 570 uh, degrees Fahrenheit already and you can get working on it already quick. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off for right now. Just press on it and off she goes, okay? Now you throw it in the stand 
and let that cool down and don't touch that tip for a little bit okay especially with your hands um all right now this pump it's pretty cool now desoldering pump okay so uh if you make a mistake on a, a soldering job all you do is i'm going to show you it anyway uh, all you do is uh, make your soldering wet push your pump down the wet solder okay so wet solder not dry solder put this pump on your wet solder and give her a punch in there and then it'll all suck into here okay now this pump is i'm going to show you this pump okay and you take it apart and what it is is a spring inside here there's a spring inside there like that okay so that's what makes that and it's got a seal right here so that seals down and you can put this back down so you want to clean it out you know whatever don't uh i wouldn't leave that solder in there too long because if it was going in hot it might stick to something there which i doubt because that that uh that's that spring in there is stainless steel i imagine i don't know that but solder won't stick to stainless steel okay so uh there you go there's a little bit of info on the pump and then you can take this tip off and you've got extras right there you can use if it does uh because these will probably melt a little bit right because you're looking at hot hot stuff on the end here so it might mess that up okay all right as goes for the sponges so you can put whatever sponge down here you want and that you can what you can kind of damp these down and then you can clean your soldering tips off uh, kind of like this right so if you're soldering you want to keep your tip nice and clean you can just go like that and keep your tip clean okay all right let's get into a few things and go from there okay so you can do computer opponents like this um, you know uh, little little tiny little things uh, you can use your needle end and throw it in there and do little tinker stuff like that today we're not going to do that for demonstration purposes we're going to put that away. Now, um, I just have to say something about this, okay? So when the battery is running dead, it will flash, okay? And if your needle is in wrong or your tip, uh, it'll flash too. So that's telling you, okay, so what that's doing right now is saying I'm not using it. Uh, so hit it and uh, it should, oh, there it goes, okay? there now it's ready to go okay so that was a 15 second delay and uh, you just got to hit that again okay okay for demonstration purposes we're going to solder these two uh, wires together um, i like soldering make sure you got some soldering paste and uh you know dip it in your paste like like this what i'm going to do and then you just slide these two together and this is going to make sure that you've got a good uh, connection on your wire okay now we've got uh where i'm gonna try it on uh 570 degrees and see how it goes okay so let's slide this in there and see if she melts her in Okay, now that's that's at 570 degrees. Now, let's try that a little hotter. Let's go to 750 and see if we can melt that little, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's try that on two. There we go. Now, now if we take that, let's melt that down. There we go. Now she's soldering in. Turn that over, give her a little more solder. And there it is, okay? Now, that's done. You can wipe that off on your, uh, just wipe it off while it's wet, or uh, sorry, hot. 
and then throw it back in your case so you don't accidentally touch it. All right, then while you're doing that, you might as well put your heat tape on, right? Like that. And melt it on. And there you go. You've got your uh, wires done. That thing will come apart and it'll always connect. Okay, this is a desoldering uh, pump. Okay, so you got to be quick with this thing. I'll tell you what. Uh, if you got a piece of wire like that that you're soldering, man, you got to be quick uh, to get that off there because solder dries so quick, right? So when it's really, really shiny, you got to just have your pump ready to go. Uh, but for demonstrating purposes, I'm going to show you how this is. Let's uh, melt this down into a ball. So now you got that nice and wet. Keep it wet. You got your pump down all the way. And boom, it's gone. So now it's inside the pump. And it should be a ball inside there. Okay. But yeah, that's how that works. Okay. So uh, interesting little tool. I'll tell you what. I never did have one of them, but I do now. All right. All right, you guys, check this out. This is a piece of leather. All right, I set this at 840 degrees, okay? Hope you can see that. All right, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to wait for that to warm up. Turn green. There she is. Okay, that tip is at 840 degrees. And I've got the uh, beveled uh, tip on there. And I'm just scribing on a piece of leather. Look at that. Fantic makes a good product. I'll tell you what. And there you go. Not perfect. But it's just demonstration. Okay, to clean your tip off, you just, uh, you know, make sure it's still hot. And uh, you got your, your wet sponge and just wipe that off like that. You can see that there's uh, uh, solder in there now. So just wipe that off. Make sure it's nice and clean. And turn this baby off and you're good to go. So hold down to that for three seconds and off she goes. Cool it down before you take that tip out, and off you go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. All right, that's my review. Thanks for coming.